Hey guys. Welcome back to GDPG, and we're back with more Pony Island. Oh, my eyes. It's eyes. just so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so last we left off, uh, we got forced back into Pony Island. You know, I, I little, did uh, really like that they commandeered your keyboard and your mouse. Awesome. That's a really cool thing. It's. I feel like that too. It like defies your expectations so much that it's things like that that makes the game actually a little unsettling. The immersive you're like, aspect. No, no, this is the one thing I have. Whoa, Whoa the mouse is freaking out. If I shake it, oh, it's because it. Oh. It's that arrow? Yeah, that must be what it is. Well, so okay, so okay, we've got this like crying pony on the side. Let's uh, open his mouth and. Uh, Whoa. What the hell? So. This is, this is, I think, what primarily most of the puzzles in this game that I've seen are like. Um, but basically... Nope, that's... Stop moving. You basically just need to find a way to kind of move things around so that oh. the key goes through the code to get to, get the, to the next part. Um, but we'll get to see just how interesting it gets. And I haven't beaten this game yet, so I don't know how uh, crazy it'll be. Okay. But uh, So now we got us another ticket. Oh! Enter, Enter the, the password, password mortal. mortal. Enter back to leave this place. Um, ah. Keyboard is off. Pass word. You think you're clever? <laughs> Wrong. All right, well, don't have that password yet. Mm. We'll find it. Let's uh, start the game. Improved load time. You thought it was too easy. What do you think now? It seems. Oh, okay. I guess it's not easy anymore. So now it's just. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, I'm just gonna. Ha! Fuck you. Game over. My game is challenging. You're still very quiet. <sighs> they gotta be able to hear you. Come back when your skills have improved or just surrender your soul. Nah, I'm gonna go to the options and. Break everything. Nice. That's kind of cool. Oh, look at that. Advanced options. Well, let's grab this little advanced piece oh, and this cool. little options piece and go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, advanced audio. Let's just pump up the jams. Come on, pump it up. Answer to your prayers. Heck yeah, I want some of that. Level up noise. Dude, I love leveling up. Hellfire. Always, always good to have. Uh, we'll do that. Oh, we can't remove the ominous humming. But we can crank up everything and print ourselves a <laughs> ticket. This is pretty cool. I know, right? I actually kind of like the ticket system. I wonder if it has any late game value or if it's just like a achievement hunter's kind of I design. I feel like it would be an achievement hunter. Probably. All right, so we can't do anything to these security settings. We can't really do that. Uh, we can look at our chat history, if you remember this. Oh, cool. And... We can look at code storage. These look like Steam codes, which is very interesting. Huh. I, I, I kind of want to see if the, any of these are actually valid. I wonder if it's like other um, codes for this game. So maybe it's like, hey, give yeah, one probably. to your friends or something. That'd be a very surprising That's... way to like give free copies of your game. That out. might be what they did. So, okay, we have what? Baphomet. 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 So let's go back to. Why, uh, let's go isn't back that an to this. Egyptian god or something? Well, Bahamut. Bah, Bahamut is. But uh, Baphomet is the name that it lists. I know, there. but like Bahamut, isn't Bahamut. that like. Bah, Baphomet? Yeah. Isn't that like one name for Satan? I don't remember. Bahamut. I forget. Correct. Behold. What? Uh. Some kind of church? How did you... Now you may ask one of three questions. Who was I? When did I die? Or who killed me? What do you want to ask? You can only ask one. <laughs> Alright. Um, well, who was I could reveal information about the identity of the victim. When would just give a date, and that doesn't really give us any additional information. And who killed me could sort of be a similar situation, because we don't know who it is that we're talking about. So, who was I? You think so? Who was I? Your name was Theodore. You left behind a mother and daughter. Alright, tell me more. Any more? 
that is all for now. And hmm. I'm back to leave. Okay, so we don't really know. I get the feeling, though, that we'll be able to get the rest of those questions answered at mm. some point. So let's go back to the options. We'll go to the advanced options. Advanced gameplay. Old prototype options. Oh, there it is. And we'll uh, get some pony blades. Nope. Okay, unlimited ammo. Nope. Free will? No, of course not. Uh, pony mobile? No. Well, how about... No? All right. Hmm. Well, let's go to the really useless options. Yeah. All right. Oh, okay. Well, we'll go to the... Security there are better settings. options than this. Pony's salvation options. Ding! Pony lasers? <laughs> Fuck yeah, I want... Po Cheater. I want... Po Cheater. I want... I won't let you cheat give me the at pony. my game. Give me the pony lasers. Give me the... Give me the pony laser. Give... Give, give me the There's a cluster give, to the left. The, give me the... I'm gonna get those pony lasers. I'm gonna get those pony lasers if it's the last thing I do. So this is where I start finding the puzzles. Very interesting. Oh. We can uh, pause it and then lead the key down. Kind of neat, right? Oh, I like it. All right. You gonna give me those lasers? No. How about another? Yeah. We'll just go ahead and do... Wait, that's not what I want. I want this. So, okay. What are some of your thoughts about this puzzle mechanic? Do you think... Um... Oh, right. I, I think um, if you kind of remember that it's not... Like, the actual code and all that stuff isn't what you're supposed to pay attention to. As long as you keep that in mind, I feel like it's a really intuitive way of, of continuing through... Um, this story and figuring out what the heck is going on. Now, do you um, think that like, obviously this is going to get more interesting as we play through the game, right? right. Because they reuse this puzzle mechanic a lot. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't think that's a bad thing either. Um, but my question to you is um, do you think they should be using some of these variables to hide hints? I mean, they could be for all we know, right? I think if they didn't, it would actually be a, a lost, lost opportunity. opportunity. That's, uh, I that's feel like that might be too. the case right now. There, there, there's something in this code that we're not quite. Yeah. Other than the obvious, like, blatant listing of what it is that it, the function that that code controls. Right. Like it tells you what the end result is going to be. It says increase size, and we can see like, oh, okay, this is where it's going to start and useless and. Right. Oh, it even kind of tells us left switch here. Like. Yeah. So it tells us kind of where we need to be placing them. Um, I think that's more important for early game, though, when we're still probably getting used to mm -hmm. the mechanics in general. Yeah, uh, yes, pony lasers. Mmm. Mmm, yeah. Whoa. Uh, go back Go in back it. in and turn that off. You can't play with that. Watch me, boy. I don't play with these pony lasers so hard. Pow, pow, pow. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh yeah! Taste oh, this got really cool. Pony lasers. You know, it's really awesome too. I think that they make this game feel really satisfying when you're you find ways to fight back. Yeah. Oh boy! Up oh, there I go. Meh. But I got me a ticket. Yeah. Ooh, I got an achievement. Achievement for unlocked. It. Ticket hunter. Oh sh shit! Yeah. Did it. Vomit some colors at those things. That is kind of colorful. It's pinkish and reddish. Yeah. Which is weird, because usually the pinkish and reddish is when the game is taking over. Oh, interesting. Did you notice that, like... Well, I like, even with the blocked well, so... Well, even when, with the blocked sequence of code, um, it would have a, like, reddish and bluish hue to it. Mmm, okay, that makes sense. The presentation of this game is Ooh. really cool. I, I really, really like it, too. So what do you think about, like, the various minigames kind of going on? I think... I, I think, uh, usually having a bunch of random minigames kind of, like, throws me off. It feels like it's distracting from the main mechanic of the game. Or, or it but, makes it feel disjointed. Yeah, but in this case, the whole mechanic of the game is going through these minigames just to get back and get revenge on the system. I think it's a really awesome use of, of like, making the minigames kind of build the, your setting, because you're trapped inside this computer, right? Yeah. And it's like, I, I don't know, it's, to me it's really satisfying, because th there's a variety of applications that it's like, you'd only find this in a computer, right? Like, yeah. 
Oh. Okay. Uh, we have hands though, which is interesting. Uh, this, I guess we kind of see that with the tickets too, but... What just happened? We broke the computer. I made, I made it. it in. It seems he is distracted. This is our chance. Hell yeah, it's our chance. That portal will take us to a core file. <laughs> take this step with me, Affinity Cray. <laughs> take it if you want to escape. I want to escape. Heck yeah. What's our time? Uh, we got um, negative 38 seconds. We're All right. So we're going to go through that portal in the next episode. Question of the day. Question of the day. How do you think the minigames add to the overall story of the game? Yeah, like in, in terms of how they work together to kind of build up everything. So yeah. we will see you in the next episode. So stay tuned for more Holy Island as we get out of this place. Boom. Boom. Bye. <laughs>